Jacqueline Amongini was elected as an independent representative with 338 votes. It is her first five-year term to represent Uganda at the regional assembly, though she served as a woman MP for Ngora for 10 years, and she spent nine years representing Uganda at the Pan-African Parliament, respectively. I have a national touch. Then I have also worked with the Continental Parliament, meaning that I've already worked with the five wrecks the regional economic communities of Northern Africa. I have worked with the SADAC. I have worked with the ECOWAS. I have worked with the Central. And I've been working with the, East, the regional bloc for Eastern Africa in our engagement at the continental level. Therefore, building on the experience, I believe that is one of the strengths that the members of parliament gave to me while they were voting the nine. Amongini told NTV about her plans after swearing in as an Yala legislator in December this year. They should now influence the education system so that in the curriculum, Kiswahili is learned from schools. It must be compulsory, like we are learning English, so that we can compete in the eastern region. Going to swear in December for the East African Legislative Assembly, I, w I, I would like to call upon my countrymen and women to make sure Kiswahili is prioritized in. The are seven partner says Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, and a new member DRC. Each country is represented by nine members, totaling to 63. There are also ex official members who are two ministers from each partner state. And while I was at the Continental Parliament, I have kept the Ugandan flag high. Because... After her swearing in in December this year, Amongin will begin to enjoy the benefits of a regional legislator for at least five years. The regional assembly based in Arusha, Tanzania, normally has six sessions per year. Each session lasts for three weeks, two for plenary sittings, and one for committee work. Each member gets a monthly pay of $6,450, approximately 24.5 million Uganda shillings. They also get a daily allowance of $400 US for three weeks, totaling to $8,400 US dollars. About 31 million Uganda shillings. There is an additional daily $160 for plenary sittings, six days in two weeks, totaling $960, approximately 3.6 million shillings. While conducting business for the assembly in partner states, they are paid a daily allowance of $400. The yellow legislators are also entitled to diplomatic passports, travel by business class, and they buy their own cars, but it is tax free as long as it carries ESC number plates. You're not just going to, there to eat money. I don't know even how much money is paid at the East African Legislative Assembly. Up to now, I am not even aware of how much. But for me, I'm moved by the vision of our forefathers who started the integration. Burundi has also concluded electing representatives. Three of the incumbents were returned. Interestingly, Burundi parliament elected one who is a member of the national parliament contrary to the treaty. ESC treaty stipulates that each partner state shall elect not from among its legislators nine members of the assembly. They also elected a member who replaced Hafsa Morsi following her death in the third year. This will require a treaty interpretation as to whether this member is not serving a third term contrary to the treaty. Tanzania also returned two incumbents. South Sudan elected their representatives yesterday and returned seven incumbents, two are new. Kenya, Rwanda, and DRC have not elected their representatives. Speaker Martin Ngoga from Rwanda has been the fourth assembly speaker. The next speaker is expected to come from Burundi or South Sudan. Jingo Francis, NTV.